Oh, hello! You must be my replacement. I'm Josic. I've been the dispatcher here for over 30 years now, and I'll be training you today. It's good to meet you. This is the dispatch interface. Oh, don't worry. We're not very busy at the moment. We've got plenty of time to practice. Why don't we try moving around our view a bit to start? Great! Now try scrolling the mouse wheel. Haha, <laughs> you're a natural. I can tell you're going to be great at this already. Now, how about we get a bit more comfortable with the interface? There are a few different things that we need to learn about. First up, we have the switches. Great! Now we'll move on to the signals. Wonderful! Notice that the signal has turned green. This means that it's set to proceed. Trains will be able to run through it. Let's right click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! As a dispatcher, you'll be responsible for routing trains to specific locations, so we should get familiar with some of the routes you'll be using. Let's start by making a route from Davidsa, Platform 2, to Bubni, Platform 2. We'll start by setting the switches so that the train can safely pass. Great! Now that the switches are set, you can flip the signal. Excellent! Now that the route is set, a train could run through and reach its destination. We'll try setting another route in a second, but first we need to close the current route. Flip the signal to halt. This will make the track available for other trains again. Normally, a train would automatically reset the signal when it passes by, but for now, we can do it manually. Let's right click it to set it back to stop again. Great job! Looks like you know what you're doing. Let's see if you can create a route on your own. Try making a route from Bubni Platform 2 to Docks Platform 1. And remember,